All right, it's time to get you guys right with the sneaker slang terms. Whether you're diving deep into the world of kicks or just lacing up your first pair, understanding the language is as crucial as rocking the right pair. In a rapidly growing industry, speaking the sneaker talk is a must. Today, we've got a gold mine for you. This is a collection of sneaker slang terms that'll make you the ultimate sneaker expert. You guys can let me know what you think of this format down below. Let's kick things off with ACG, all conditions gear. Think of Nike in the early 80s, focusing on mountain climbs and long walks. Now, what about Aglet? Those are the glossier stainless steel tips that the end of your laces, giving your sneakers that extra flair. Ever heard of Ben? It stands for buy it now. This is the fixed price a seller sets without room for negotiation. If you're into unboxing joy, BNIB is your jam. Brand new in box. Sneakers untouched and still wrapped in their original packaging. Now we should all know the term beater. This is the everyday pair of kicks that gains character from scuffs and stains. Speaking of character, we gotta talk about co.jp. This refers to Concept Japan. These are exclusive sneakers specifically made for the Japanese market in the mid 90s and early 2000s. Now colorway is just a snazzy combo of colors that give sneakers a unique style typically summed up in just one or two words. It's the secret sauce that makes each pair pop. Now let's talk about dead stock. It's not just about being an adamant. This term has evolved over the years to represent the holy grail for sneaker enthusiasts, signifying a pair that's not just brand new, but comes with the whole shebang, original box, tags, and of course that untarnished freshness straight from the factory floor. It's the kind of sneaker treasure that collectors dream about and hustle to add to their coveted lineup. Keep your eyes peeled for F and F. That's friends and family. You already know that it has to be a hookup. It's an exclusive, ultra wear pair that's reserved specifically for the inner sanctum. It's like getting the golden ticket in the sneaker world. On the flip side, we've got FSR or full size run, guaranteeing that your dream pair is up for grabs in every size, ensuring no one is left out. But let's be cautious of flaking because when you turn around and try to sell those shoes, a lot of buyers like to go ghost on a deal leaving you in a sneaker transaction limbo. I call it the sneaker games version of last minute drama. So keep your negotiation radar sharp. If you're new to the game, steer clear of the sneaker underworld with Fufu. This is the dreaded fake, also dubbed as Fugazi. It's a knockoff nightmare that savvy sneakerheads aim to avoid. On the brighter side, if you stumble upon the GOAT, you've hit the sneaker jackpot. It stands for the greatest of all time, a pair that shines brighter than any of its predecessors, a true gem in your collection. Now keep an eye out for GR or general release. This is typically a sneaker that's readily available at most retailers, but don't underestimate them. Some GRs can pull off surprise sellouts, adding an unexpected twist to the sneaker game. Your grail is an exclusive pair that you've been hunting for for years, while the holy grail is a dream pair you might never snag. Now, a term that we've all learned to hate is the word hype beast. This is a sneakerhead that follows trends blindly. Don't be that. One of my favorites is ID or individually designed. This was once a Nike platform, but now is replaced by Nike by you. Take a stroll inside the world of sneakers and you'll find the unsung hero, the insole. This is what's nestled within your kick. It's the cushiony layer offering comfort, warmth, and a bit of deodorizing magic. Now picture this, you spot an Instacop. This is a sneaker that's so irresistible that you snatch it up within a blink of an eye. It's an impulse buy that you just can't resist. Moving on to icons, enter the Jumpman, Michael Jordan's legendary logo that not only defies his sneaker lineup, but also graces his iconic clothing range. It's the mark of the basketball legend, making every pair more than and just shoes. They're all a piece of history. Step inside the sneaker realm where even the smallest details have stories to tell. Now, if it's LE, limited edition, brace yourself for quick sellouts. Did you just grab an LBU? That's your latest pickup. I hardly use that term, but you know, it's there if you want it. For technical jargon, lateral is the outer sidewall, medial is the inner sidewall, and the midsole sits between the insole and the outsole, offering comfort and cushioning. Unlocking the sneaker code, let's decode NWT, shorthand for new with tags a clever alternative expression to the revered term dead stock. When you spot these three letters, you're entering the realm of freshness, signaling a pair that's not just brand new, but comes complete with all its original tags. It's like unwrapping a gift and finding it perfectly preserved, making each tag a testament to the un untrodden path these kicks have taken. So next time you encounter NWT in the sneaker world, know you're about to step into a pair that's not just new, but it's adorned with the symbols of unworn glory. Oh. Now, when you see OBO, also known as best offer or ONO, this means there's a bit of flexibility on the price. So negotiate. The worst they're going to say is no. And when we talk about OG, it's not just an abbreviation. It refers to the original release of the sneaker, the inaugural launch that collectors cherished so much. Check out the outsole, the outer sole made from rubber equipped with grooves for that crucial traction. Then moving on to PE, player exclusive. These are kicks that most of us won't really see. They're exclusively tailored for athletes, not for the public release. Really only a pair that the pros can boast. Now diving into the secrets behind Nike 
Nike sneaker labels, PRM unveils a world of luxury. It stands for premium, indicating that the kicks are meticulously crafted with top tier materials. These aren't just sneakers, they're a statement of opulence, elevating your collection with a touch of refinement. Now shifting gears to QS or Quick Strike, it's like unlocking a hidden level of the sneaker game. This label designates Nike releases available exclusively at tier zero retailers, injecting an extra dose of exclusivity into your sneaker repertoire. When you spot these acronyms, you're not just getting the shoes, you're entering a realm of a premium craftsmanship and limited availability, making every step a stylish statement really stunting on them boys. Now moving into some things that we hate, you hear the word reseller. These are typically individuals who are all about flipping sneakers, man. To keep it simple, they're straight hustlers. They understand the value of rare finds and limited releases. As we all know, the sneaker market is a dynamic area, and these resellers, whether seasoned or not, Novice, they all play a crucial role in the ever-evolving dance between supply and demand. If you ever missed out on a pair that you really want, don't even worry about it, man. Another term you might hear is restock. This signals the return of a previously sold out sneaker, giving you another shot at snagging it. Now, when we say retro, we're not just talking about nostalgia. It's a re-released classic, a blast from the past, and a sneaker that we just keep copping year after year. Now, if you ever heard of SB, that's skateboarding. It's Nike's subdivision from the early 2000s dedicated to skate culture. SC stands for special edition. This is a sneaker crafted to accentuate special occasions or events. Meanwhile, SP or Special Project covers Nike's most creative and experimental releases, including collaborations and Nike Lab Gem. Now let's talk about the exclusive sample, prototypes created during the sneaker design process, destined to remain unseen by the public. But on the flip side, we have the sneakerhead, and that's me and you, the people who live and breathe sneakers, collecting, trading, and if you're a know-it-all, you could be a sneaker encyclopedia. Now, if you are curious about the resale market, look no further than StockX. This has been the sneaker community's go-to marketplace for buying and selling. And when you are shopping, make sure to check if a pair is TTS. This means true to size, ensuring that the shoes fit just perfect. Man, you don't want to be walking around in no boats, especially if you're paying on them. If you ever wondered about the toe box, that's the front section on your kicks, providing that special, crucial space for your toes. Now from the OGs, you might hear the word Uptowns. This was a cool nickname for the Air Force One, coined back in the early 80s when the silhouette gained popularity in neighborhoods of Uptown New York City. If you ever see on a listing a pair described as VNDS, this is very near dead stock. You might even hear NDS. This means slight wear, basically like they're almost new, maybe even tried on. The sneaker can easily pass as dead stock to the untrained eye. Now, I remember when I first started collecting, I always heard on social media people say WDYWT, and I had no idea what that meant. And it's short for what did you wear today? This phrase is more than just one question. This acronym is a staple to the community. You're diving into a vibrant conversation where sneakerheads eagerly showcase their current footwear choices. It's more than just a shoe. Sneakers represent personal style, who you are. If you're ever on the hunt, keep an eye out for WTB, which means want to buy. This is a term used when you're seeking a particular pair. For example, WTB, Air Jordan 1 Chicago's. That just means, hey man, someone, someone run me some Chicago's, stop playing. How much? On the other side of that is WTS want to sell when you're looking to part ways from a certain sneaker in your collection. And that's a wrap. I think I covered pretty much every slang term there is out there. I hope this video helps you guys. Now, next time you're around the sneaker homies, hit them with all this slang and drop your favorite slang term down below in the comments. Mine would definitely have to be dead stock. Thank you guys for watching. It's your boy Sneaker Life. I'll catch you on the next one.